Shout out to everybody here on the law. My name is Samuel James Price, the crypto lifer. And today I want to talk about Bitcoin and the difficulty level. A lot of people don't understand Bitcoin in the mining. They get into crypto. They understand blockchain a little bit. They understand how to move coins. They understand, you know, how it's in a, an immutable, you know, something that you can't change for a long period of time, that it keeps value, keeps a store of value. But they don't really understand the difficulty level for Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is made inside of its equation to become more difficulty, more difficult, more people mine it. So when more people mine Bitcoin, it makes it harder and harder to mine because the equation gets harder. The difficulty level goes up. What happens is people that mine at their home with just a few miners, the electricity gets too expensive. They're fighting, they're fighting because the difficulty level gets so high. They're trying, they're trying, they're trying. They're using more and more computing power. Eventually, they have to shut off the miners. They can't stay in the game. And what they do is they shut the miners off. It's miner capitulation, basically. The big miners that run giant, giant, giant fir you know, firms and really can mine hardcore, they can handle the downturn because they're buying in bulk and the energy. So... They handle that, and they don't stop. And when they keep mining, and the difficulty level drops, it gets better for them, actually, because less and less miners come out. They get more rewards. They keep trucking through. What happens is, as less and less miners leave the network, the difficulty level begins to drop. When the difficulty level begins to drop, it then becomes more advantageous for young miners, new miners, and beginner miners, and smaller miners to jump on back to the mining horse again. And so, because Bitcoin goes up and down in difficulty, what it does is it sheds off the smaller miners, but then keeps going, Let's the difficulty drop again. New miners come back in. Comes up, comes up, comes up. Difficulty level gets too high. Sheds off the miners. And in this cyc cyclic manner, Bitcoin has actually intrinsically created value for itself baked inside of its equation. So Bitcoin is basically made to continuously to go up in the next 10 years based on the difficulty level alone. Right here behind me, you see the largest difficulty level drop since July of 2021. Five, thing five things to know in Bitcoin today. So when that Bitcoin level dropped, that's a good sign. A lot of people will jump in and begin to mine Bitcoin. And we could go over even a little lower. It does mean that miners have capitulated. A lot of people have left the market. Sometimes it could be a sign for a next leg down. So be careful. But I just want to show you that the difficulty level in Bitcoin really creates its value. It's really a driving force of the cyclic nature of why Bitcoin goes up and down. If you like how I explain this and you like information of this nature, come to my live stream Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday nights at 8 p.m. I can't wait to see you there. I also have a Discord and a trading group, and I also do one-on-one -on -one tutoring and group tutoring. I'd love to have you in one of my sessions. My name is Sam Price, the Crypto Lifer. Have a wonderful day. Crypto is life. Peace.